Snakes and Ladders, the ultimate game of chance. No strategy, no skill, just a roll of the die. There is no way to get good at this game. But here I am, obliterating my family, game after game. And one again for me would be good. That's insane. With near perfect luck, coupled with their unmitigated bad luck. You know when we're six here? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Absolute nightmare. Yeah, let's go six. I have that. One, two, three, four. What the? <laughs> Do you do that? <laughs> this is how I became the world's greatest Snakes and Ladders player. Snakes and Ladders is the perfect game to teach children all about the unjust nature of life. You might get a ladder that allows you to skip a few steps and then BAM! The 2008 credit crunch happens and all your job prospects are shattered. You work your way through a career that you hate diligently and then BAM! Mortgage rates triple. Looks like another five years of renting for you, pleb. <laughs> oh, that's a bummer. It's important to teach these kids the brutality of this economy before the ages of five to toughen them up. So how can you gain an edge in a game seemingly based purely on chance? Well, the weakness has to be in the die. How can you make sure your opponent gets bad rolls that send them down the snakes, whilst also ensuring you get favourable rolls up the ladders? Let's see if we can make that happen. Here is the dice. I gave it a quick coat of lacquer just to make it all gorgeous. And it came out like really, really well. And obviously, it's magnetic. So these little coin magnets, I can move it around and I can change its polarity. All right, we have a loaded die with embedded magnets. So if you hold another magnet under the table, you can roll a one or a six every time depending on which end of the magnet you use. However, it's actually impossible to win the game that way since you would need to land on 100 exactly. And obviously your opponent will just roll the same numbers as you. We need to control what we get. And for that, we need the magic of electronics. Here's how all this works. The four electromagnets, controlled by a switch and the Arduino, can change their polarity. 
When these are glued under the table, I can make the die roll a 1 or a 6 on command. See from the top of the desk, underneath the desk, the secrets are revealed. Here are four electromagnets. Using these two numbers, I can achieve a near perfect game in just seven rolls of the die. Likewise, I can sabotage my opponent by stalling them with constant ones or sending them down snakes when a six or a one roll would be bad for them. So if you roll it just right, you can roll a six every time. How about a one? Oh, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit suspicious. So there's another one. That was suspicious. The magnets are even strong enough to change the result post-roll, which is a little unnerving. If you want to be really sneaky, you can actually just turn it off, and if someone rolls like a three or something, you can kind of coax it into being a six. Or you can flip the switch and it becomes a one. Pretty weird, right? Before observing how people react to being crushed at snakes and ladders, a quick word from this week's sponsor, Thorum. Thorum specialises in extremely unique rings made from unconventional materials. I went for the Hercules ring, made from tungsten and lignum vitae, the hardest wood paired with the hardest metal. I think the contrast between the two materials just really pops. Thorum makes a bunch of rings in unorthodox styles, like this one, made from a World War II gun barrel. It's nice to wear something that's just a little bit more interesting than a standard plain band that men usually wear. These can make perfect wedding rings, and they do come in ladies' versions and sets. All rings come with a lifetime warranty and include free shipping, even internationally. I also got myself the Meteorite watch, which has an extremely sleek and clean design with a tiny slice of real Gibeon meteorite embedded in the face. It's cool to own something so modern looking that also contains a four and a half billion year old piece of meteorite. The watch is also mechanical, so no battery changes, ever. My viewers can get 20% off a truly unique piece with the code Mike Boyd. So if you're planning on tying the knot or just want a unique ring that contains an actual dinosaur bone, check out Thorum. And thanks to Thorum for sponsoring this week's video. Right then, time to test it on some unsuspecting victims. If I lose, I will clean out the cat's litter for one year. But that's your job anyway. I know, but I don't do it very much. It's... I want to choose what I win. All right, what do you want? I get, whenever I want a massage, you have to just do it for a year. Your roll first, okay? Snakes and ladders. Six. six. Oh, well what done. colour am I? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done. I could do with a one. Yay, one. Straight up to 21. Oh, I forgot that you can go up to the ladders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, six. Initially, nothing seemed awry. Right, six. Up to 69. Okay, uh, a one for you would be bad. A one. Oh, that was one. Unfortunate for you. It just seemed like a rotten bit of luck. One. Ah, oh, unfortunate for you. God, this is really confusing. All the way back down That's to one. That's such a confusing game. I just need a six to win the game. Uh, so let's just hope that happens. Ah, perfect. So I have to bring you a cup of tea every day. <laughs> However, my poor acting eventually gave rise to suspicion. Right, you want to rematch best of three? Yeah. One again from me would be good. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> right, I need a six to win the game, because that'll take me to 100. Ah, perfect. Right, one now. Wait, what do you win, Mike? Do you win? I win my mother's approval. Oh. Me a six. Look, I guess. <laughs> no way. You don't want a one. That's shafted. <laughs> you just want one. I look at my takes me down. A six would be bad for you. Oh, it's actually a six. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Ah, it's a bummer. Ah, uh, uh, it's a bummer for you. I'm sorry. I could really use a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What would be good for you? All you want, right? Oh, so the table moves? Yeah. I want a one again. One. Yeah! No! That no. was a That was a six! It was a one! You don't want to roll a six here. Oh! Absolute nightmare! <laughs> one, two, three, four. <laughs> it takes you back to the start! What is going on? Yeah. What no, do I need? I did the one! <laughs> hey! Uh, it was a six! It was a it one! It was a six! Was... Oh, that's a bummer. Right, a six for me, however, would be the end of the game. Ah. <laughs> 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 Two, a two, a two, a two, a two, a two. One, 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 one. A two. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Michael, that's not. <laughs> ah, that's a bummer. Right, 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 I want. Give me a one, two, three, four. Do not. Give me a six. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. A loaded die designed to destroy everyone at snakes and ladders. I hope you enjoyed this style of video. If you'd like more of this type, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. See you next time. Peace.